Iran is not on the internet. It's not just behind a firewall. How the hell does the Iranian government shut off the internet? This shutdown is different. Normally, when a government like Iran wants to cut its users off the internet, they go to all the internet service providers, all the cell phone carriers in their country, and they tell them, cut them off the internet. Each of these ISPs put in firewall rules where they connect to the outside world to chop off web browsing, to access to DNS, to access to you know, Instagram and Facebook. They'll drop most of their packets, they'll leave the network up so their connections inside the country, Voila, you're basically off the internet. Until a few years ago, this worked pretty well as a strategy. But for the last few years, of course, they're starling. Here at Speedify, during the last time they cut off the internet, we still saw lots of traffic. The Speedify protocol, of course, has all kinds of clever things to disguise itself as something else if it needs to. We were able to get through most of the firewalls. And so we still had millions of users online accessing the real internet in Iran during the last shutdown. And it all worked pretty great. This time is different. This isn't just some firewall rules. They are off the internet. We are seeing zero traffic from Iran. Cloudflare is seeing zero traffic from Iran. I believe they are physically disconnected. They're using military jammers to jam them and sending teams with RF, you know, spectrum analyzers to find anyone using those high gigahertz frequencies that the Starlinks use to go seize their dishes and arrest them. There are other strategies governments can use. Cuba, for a long time, didn't have the budget to afford these fancy firewalls, but they were scared of their users, sorry, afraid of their citizens, where they gave each person person one hour a day of internet. And that's where Connectify Hotspot became so popular. So is that how they restrict the internet in North Korea too? I mean, I think they have firewall stuff, but I think mostly they just don't have internet. I know there's at least one person online on Steam in North Korea. In conclusion, I want you to subscribe.